what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is shannon and i post all things lifestyle fashion travel and beauty i know that with may approaching us soon a lot of y'all might be wondering shannon hasn't gone on a trip this entire year something must be off but don't worry, I'm about to take off in a couple days, so I decided to bring you guys along with me while I prepared for my vacation. It's been long overdue. Let's go ahead and get vacay ready, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media platforms, and you'll even find out where I'm traveling to this time. This is what the skin looks like. It's a little dark in here, but you guys, my skin is looking so much better. What I really wanna do is get a chemical peel, but just because I've been in the market for an esthetician for the longest time, I was like, let me start off with like a basic facial, but I actually ended up doing the Hydra facial um, after she did a little consultation on my skin type. I think whenever I come back from my trip, it will be May, and I'm thinking maybe towards middle or end of May, that's when I will go ahead and do a chemical peel, which will help my skin so much more in evening out like my skin tone and all of these small little imperfections that we get with our skin. I am going to include her booking link as well as her Instagram in the description box below so that if you guys are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you'll be able to make appointment with her and let her know Shannon sent you. Right now, I'm on the way to the mall in Dallas to hopefully see if they have the specific item that I want to purchase in stock. And then this will conclude day one out of four um, vacation prep. Luckily they had my size. I was a little scared because my foot is not big, but it's also not a size six or a seven, you know? Can we really like deep the skin? Like my eyebrows look crazy, but my skin looks so good. The next thing that I have on my list will be my hair appointment on Tuesday. I'm debating on if I wanna get my nails done after the appointment or if I wanna do it on Wednesday. I don't know. So this concludes day one of my vacation prep vlog. But we have hair, we have nails, fingers, and toes. We have eyebrow threading, and we have a wax scheduled. All before next Friday. Good morning. It is officially day two out of four. I think we're actually gonna be able to squeeze one of my appointments in today. Fingers crossed. As you can see, my hair is not done, nails aren't done still, eyebrows aren't done, 
but the skin is still skinning like Gloria did a great job. It is currently 8.30 in the morning and I'm gonna do a couple meetings at home because today's my work from home day. I washed my hair last night already and blow dried it, but I do need to just go through one last time, give it a nice little blow dry before I go in for my hair appointment. And then hopefully whenever I'm done with my hair appointment, assuming that I finish a little bit on time, I might be able to go and like get my nails done or do my eyebrows. My hair is blow dried. It looks a little bit crazy. You guys can literally see how bad my split ends are and it's not even straightened or pressed or anything. I finally come to terms and agree with myself that after I get this hairstyle taken out, when I come back from my trip, this bun, like all of this dead hair, it, it, it got to go, it got to go. My hair, it's not growing anymore. It's not as thick and full like it used to be when I was younger. And part of it is because I have been, of course, braiding it up at home and stuff like that whenever I wear wigs or if I do any protective style. But I haven't been getting my ends trimmed as often as I should be. So for all my young black women out there, make sure you stick to a routine where you are trimming your ends. Otherwise, you're going to end up with your split ends looking like this. And my puff ball looks like there's, like, you can see through it at some part. I feel like that's just so crazy. It's now 8.40, and I need to go hop in my meeting that's happening soon. So I will go ahead and catch you guys whenever I get situated at the air shop.
Mars on the beat. on the beat. Stars and beats. <laughs>
by the grace of God, it is my last and final day of doing my vacation preparations. I'm on my lunch break right now, so I decided to just drive over to Henna Salon in Frisco where I get my eyebrows threaded at because if you see, my eyebrows look a little dusty. Like, they don't even look like they're the same. They look a little crazy. They're not ready to be on vacation. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, the nails are done, the hair is done, the wax is about to be done. The brows need to match the same energy as the rest of me. I have about four more hours remaining in my shift today, and then after that, I'll start heading to the wax lady so she can go ahead and do her magic. We're gonna be getting our intimate area done as well as our underarms. And I told myself that tonight I need to start packing because my suitcases are just looking at me and they're very much empty. It's like, are you really going on a trip in two days? Because it's not looking like you're serious right now. I just really need them to clean up my brows. I'm not gonna do like any tinting or anything today just because I typically will either just brush them out and put a little bit of concealer or I will use like an eyebrow pencil just to fill them in if needed whenever I'm doing my makeup. I only have a couple minutes left. Let me go ahead and go inside and get these brows tamed. Today, drink. One of the things that I had to learn as an upcoming content creator is the fact that some people and some businesses and establishments will have certain rules in terms of being allowed to record while getting specific services done. And I would really hate to be that person that just walks in, starts setting up my stuff without asking or having a discussion with the owner or the person that is going to be performing the service on myself. So with the place that I get my eyebrows and my upper lip threaded at, they don't really do appointments. It's really a place where you just walk in and you go. Whenever I did go in, um, I just had a small conversation and asked like if it was fine for me to record. And she was just saying their boss doesn't really like it because there are customers walking in and out and of privacy issues. So I was like, okay, like that's fine. But you can see that the brows have been tamed. Like... They're making sense now. I did ask her when I went in to go and get my underarms and my goodies wax and she was just kind of like, hmm, I don't really feel comfortable with it. And of course I tell them like, I'm not gonna get you in if you don't want to. But at the same time, I understand they have rules and they probably have oh some communication God. with the state of Texas in terms of laws and how that plays a part when it comes to things like recording and taking pictures and things like that. So I was like, you know what? It's cool, it's fine. But your girl is vacation ready. She got the hair done, she got the nails done and her feet, don't play with her. She got her brows and her upper lip threaded and I'm waxed. Given that there's about 35 hours until I take off, I feel such a sense of relief that has come over me because at the beginning of this week, I was so stressed. I was like, how am I gonna go to work? How am I gonna go to the gym? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? But let me tell you something about black women. We do get it done every time. I had to go ahead and do some last minute shopping today like I said that I would. Um, I went over to Sephora and I restocked on my primer because I know that that is going to come in handy. I also got some more Super Goop sunscreen for my face because I was running out. And I've been seeing this new setting spray all over TikTok. I believe it's from Patrick Star, but it's the Until Dawn setting spray. I got it in a trial size just because I wanna make sure that it actually does work before I spend my hard earned money on the large one. So stay tuned to my TikTok where I will be doing a try all tell all. I went and stocked up on my foundation. You guys already know that I stay using NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Total Coverage Foundation. At Ulta, I went ahead and bought some more makeup brushes just because I noticed that the ones that I had have been with me for some time and they needed to go. But it's just a couple of these that's gonna come in really handy. And then I also got some sunscreen for my body. All I need to do now is go in my room, open up all the packages that I have, try on my clothes from head to toe, literally accessories, purse, 
everything and start putting all of that in my suitcases just so that tomorrow I don't have to do too much. But that really concludes my three day correction vacation prep vlog. I don't think I'm going to be recording this travel vlog just so I can soak in the moment and really enjoy my time but don't worry this summer i have more trips planned and those will definitely be out on my channel i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below share it with all of your friends subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and connect with me on all of my social media platforms and if you don't follow me on instagram you might want to because you'll find out where i'm going exactly i'll see you guys in the next video Bye, loves.